The royal family's relationship with Prince Harry has been described as hanging by a thread amid the barrage of so-called truth bombs dropped by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry's once close bond with his father appears to have been shattered beyond repair by his constant broadsides against the royal family. Prince Harry has been left out of his dad Charles's video background yet again, after he shared a sweet family snap excluding his second son. The Prince of Wales, 72, hailed the incomparable D-Day veterans on the 77th anniversary of the Normandy landings, in a video message shared today. But, for the second time in two weeks, Charles shared a picture of him with the Queen, Prince William and young George, 7, as his video background. A video message about the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year shared on May 18 only had the same image of the Queen, Prince William and Prince George in the background. The original photo was taken at the beginning of 2020 and was shared on the royal family's social platforms. The image was to commemorate the turn of a new decade which sees Charles and William standing behind the Queen and Prince George. Previous videos shared by Charles have had photos which included Prince Harry in the background. The heir to the throne has been taking video calls from his offices at Burkhall or Highgrove during the pandemic. Often a collection of family photos are seen behind him, including pictures of Harry and Meghan with their son Archie. But today the Sussexes and their son were absent from the photo positioned behind Charles once again. Harry's exclusion from Prince Charles's tribute, despite Harry being a military man, could be down to the comments made by the Duke of Sussex about Prince Charles's parenting. Harry claimed his dad, suffered, due to his upbringing by the Queen and Philip, then, treated me the way he was treated. Charles was said to have been, boiling with anger, over the, personal attacks, in Harry's recent Apple TV documentary. There was also the explosive Oprah interview, which experts warned has done, long-term damage, to Meghan and Harry's relationship with his family. When the 72-year-old prince was asked about Harry and Meghan's interview on March 9, he giggled and walked away. Dad of two Charles is known to be in favor of a slimmed-down monarchy in the royals' future. Yesterday, we revealed how Harry lost his HRH title at Princess Diana exhibition after lending Mum's wedding dress to Royal Collection Trust. The exhibition, which runs until January 2, also features designers dressed as Queen, Princess Margaret, and Queen's mother. Diana's two dresses on display include an ivory taffeta and lace wedding dress designed by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel, and her wedding day outfit, Belleville Sasson's peach skirt suit. A week ago, the Diana exhibits came with a display panel that said, lent by HRH, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge and HRH the Duke of Sussex, the Sunday Times reported. But Harry's HRH is to be removed with its inclusion blamed on, an administrative error. The changes reflect the continuing sensitivities over Harry's departure from royal life and his move, with wife Meghan and son Archie, to California. Under the arrangement it was agreed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could retain their HRH styles, but the couple has agreed not to use them. That is in contrast to Diana, who was stripped of her HRH title after her divorce from Prince Charles. It comes as the Duke and Duchess were demoted on the official royal family website now listed below Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, as well as the Princess Royal and the Duke of York, after leaving their senior roles. It comes as another blow following revelations the Earl and Countess of Wessex will join Prince Charles in a slimmed-down monarchy. Harry and Meghan previously complained they felt, pushed out, by the firm following their decision to step down from their senior rank. Graham Smith CEO of Republic, which campaigns for the monarchy to be abolished, said he thought removing Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Sussex titles would backfire on the royal family. He said the public did not care and was not interested in whether they have titles. But he said the royal family's decision depended on whether Harry and Meghan's caused further controversy. Mr Smith said, being proactive or acting without any prompt to take those titles off them would backfire badly on the royals. It would just seem petty and vindictive. As the world still reels from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's tell-all CBS interview, members of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's families have started to speak out about their bombshell claims. Prince William gave an interview during the royal engagement on March 11 that, we're very much not a racist family. The palace also released a statement after Harry and Meghan's interview, 
which read in part, while some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Prince Charles today honored the British servicemen and women who died in the D-Day landings in a video message at the unveiling of a long overdue war memorial in Normandy. Prince Charles is understood to worth hundreds of millions of pounds, according to financial experts. While it is difficult to estimate the wealth of each family member, HRH the Prince of Wales is the second richest after the Queen. The royal family is worth $28 billion in assets it holds but cannot sell, according to Forbes. It also estimated that Queen Elizabeth II herself owns $500 million in personal assets, reports Cornwall Live. And most of the Queen's wealth will be handed to Charles when he takes to the throne. Despite it being difficult to work out how much other family members are worth, how Prince Charles earns his money is in the public domain. The prince's income for private and official matters comes from the Duchy of Cornwall. The duchy owns a significant amount of land and properties in the country worth nearly $1.3 billion, according to Forbes. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.